What's going on, Ghost Squad? Trey here in the Ghost Tactical Newsroom to bring you a quick update on the ATF comment period regarding the bump stock ban. As we all know, on March 29th, President Trump directed his Attorney General Jeff Sessions to look into, through the ATF, look into a regulation or a ban on bump stock type devices. Now, we all know that it's not just bump stocks that could be regulated. It could be anything that turns a, a semi-automatic weapon into a machine gun, which we all know is a slippery slope that could lead to a lot more regulations on any type of devices that they deem could increase the rate of fire. Now, my personal position on this is it's unlawful and unconstitutional to regulate devices that may change the rate of fire when there is no baseline rate of fire established. Until they come up with what a baseline rate of fire is, then how can they regulate rate of fire? As we know, once again, on March 29th, President Trump directed Attorney General Jeff Sessions to have the ATF look in into regulating or banning bump stop type devices. The wording is as follows. The ATF proposed ban published March 29th would treat bump fire stocks as machine guns regulated under the National Firearms Act of 1934. Current possessors of these devices would be required to surrender them, destroy them, or otherwise render them permanently inoperable upon the effective date of this final rule. As we also know, Wayne LaPierre and other people in the National Rifle Association, the beacon of the Second Amendment, came out in support of this. Their joint statement with the NRA published back in October after the horrendous Las Vegas shooting says, the ATF should immediately review whether these devices comply with federal law. So all of you NRA members that um, think that they're having your back and trying to fight gun control, they're actually supporting regulations and possibly writing some of these regulations as well. The comment period allowed with this ended June 27th. From March 29th to June 27th, anyone could go to regulations.gov and find the proposal for the ATF regulations and make your own public comments. The great thing about this is there were two organizations that were actively helping you promote the comment section and helping you get there without trying to go through the red tape that are governmental websites. The first was the Gun Owners of America and the second was a Firearm Policy Coalition. On those two websites they had take action buttons that you could literally push that would take you directly to that site. Also both of these websites had templates that could help you guide. Uh, what your comments could say if you wanted to copy and paste them you could if you wanted to make them your own absolutely you could or you could have just written your own in general as of today the number stands at 100,939 comments that were made this is a staggering number 100,000 people took the time to go out there and make their comments known to the ATF if you remember back on December 26th the first time they started talking about the bump stock ban they had a one month period that ended January 25th and in that one month you had 115,916 comments so they had a lot of comments in one month and in three months basically you had 15,000 less comments I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing some might look at it and say well in three months we had 15,000 less comments than we did in a, in a period of one month in December and January but you could also sit there and say between the two comment periods on the bump stock bans or bump stock regulations, we had over 215,000 comments. I think that's great. Now, obviously, we'd like to have a lot more because we know there are a lot more gunners out there. But at least there were 215,000 people that took the time out of their lives to go to the website and let the ATF and the government know what their feelings are on regulation of machine guns, rate of fire, and bump stocks. Now the interesting thing about this is as of yesterday there were two organizations that actually filed documents against the ATF. One of them is the Firearms Policy Coalition and the other is the Firearms Policy Foundation. And I'm going to read this from an article on Reason.com. It is titled, ATF flips on bump stock ban, some gun right groups are mad. 
So basically what this says is two gun rights groups today filed documents accusing the ATF of acting unlawfully by concealing evidence, exceeding authority granted by Congress, and ignoring the Second Amendment. Today is the last day to file comments on the ATF's proposed ban, which will take effect later this year, assuming it's not withdrawn or prevented from taking effect by a court challenge. The ATF's proposed ban, published March 29th, would treat bump fire stocks and as machine guns regulated by the NFA of 1934. Trump commented, We can do that with an executive order. I'm going to write the bump stock, essentially write it out. So you won't have to worry about bump stocks. Shortly, that will be gone. As we all know, once again, the NRA's Wayne LaPierre and Chris Cox both endorsed Trump's position by, once again, the statement saying, the ATF should immediately review whether these devices comply with federal law. The filings by the Firearms Policy Coalition and the Firearm Policy Foundation is likely to prove embarrassing to the ATF, the article says. It lays out a convincing argument that the agency had investigated bump fire stocks in great detail and in sworn testimony and pleadings in federal district court concluded that they were perfectly legal under federal law. The filing by the two organizations argues that there is no evidence evidence that the Las Vegas shooter used a firearm outfitted with a bump fire stock. These groups acknowledge that Las Vegas Police preliminary report released in January indicates that some weapons found in the Mandalay Bay Hotel were outfitted with devices similar to bump fire stocks. But they say the report never says the, that those particular guns were used during the crime. The two groups filed an expedited Freedom of Information Act request with the ATF and FBI on this point, but as of today, neither agency has confirmed the use of bump fire stocks in the commission of any crime. Both agencies are involved in the Las Vegas investigation. You're writing this regulation or you're thinking about regulating a device that was being used in the Las Vegas mass shooting. But yet to this very day, there has not been one single report from any organization or any law enforcement agency that says that the bump fire stocks were used at all. Just because they were in the room does not mean they were used. So guys, I really hope that you uh, took the time out of your lives to check in and, and make your comment known to the ATF on the bump stock type device regulation or ban. I hope that your voice was heard and I hope that the community as a whole came together. It is nice to see that in two different comment periods we had over 215,000 comments, a little over 100,000 on each of them, which is wonderful. We need more. We need more people out there talking about firearms. We need to make sure that the people out there that are anti-gun understand that we are law-abiding responsible gun owners that have normal jobs, normal families, we have kids, we live a normal life, we just happen to like guns, we happen to carry guns, we like the fact that we have the right to protect ourselves and our families. So guys, if you're really interested in looking more into this, please go to Firearms Policy Coalition and the Gun Owners of America's websites. The links will be in the description below, and I hope that you guys will take the Second Amendment seriously in your lives and understand that our rights are under attack, and we must fight to keep those rights. Until next time, simplify. Oh, hey guys, sorry, didn't realize the video was over. Just doing a little cleaning real quick. But thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, go ahead and uh, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment. Uh, maybe even subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. If you don't like the video, then go ahead and leave us a comment down below and tell us why you didn't. We'd love to hear your feedback. If you really like the video, then we ask you to go check out our website, www.ghosttactical.us. You can find all of our social media links. And after that, go ahead and check out a couple videos over here. Guys, thanks for watching. Simplify.